What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your fault. Be how ready yo shout in. Stepping in the building. I got an artist that's tearing up the streets as we speak. My New York fam in this thing. Neek Bucks, what's good man, with it, we boss? Yeah, man. What's the deal, man, boy? Feeling good, feeling <laughs> great, man. Now, man. I mean, Neek, <clears throat> I done had a chance to go through this music, man. Yeah. You out here going crazy yeah, in these man. streets, okay? The latest single, you know, uh, Count on You with Iris Scott. Right. Going all the way up. That visual was hard as hell, too, man. Thank you, brother. Break down that new banger right there to me. Um, yeah, right there. That's just me being a little versatile. You know, okay. I'm a big fan of um, you know, R and B music. That's I right. love R and B more than rap. You get uh -huh. what I'm saying? So anytime I get to tap into that bag, you know, I go there. I feel for sure. that. I feel From a that. fan standpoint, not just an artist, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Now, I mean, the other banger, hold up, let me pull it up so I can make sure that I'm correct on this thing. Mask up with two chains. Yeah. That visual was off the damn chain. Yeah, man. You got one of the greatest chains verses that you could get. 100%. You in that thing snapping as well. 100%. Break that down. How did that one come about? Man, that was amazing. You know, that's two chains. I grew up on chains, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, from when he was Titty Boy, you know that's what I'm right. saying, until 2 chains, And, you know, that's just my God, man. I, I rock with everything he did, how he grinded and got to the top. I watched this whole come up. Yeah. So for me to be younger and he embraced the youth and, you know, do it with me, we came out here to the A, to his hometown and shot the video. Yeah. Shout out to Ray J, Hitmaker, they both appeared. Exactly, yeah, man. man. That thing was a whole movie Hell right yeah. there. Speaking <clears throat> of Hitmaker, y'all got together on a whole collab project mm -hmm. in this thing. So now, mm -hmm. first of all, the man's name is Hitmaker because he makes nothing but hits. Yeah. So is this whole project nothing but hits or what? Yeah, oh, I, I think it's, it's different, man. It's whatever you want to hear is on there. Okay. However you feel, you know, if you, if you up, if you, you know, thinking about your chick, if you, yeah. you know, in that street mode, it's all on there. Exactly. So, yeah, it's a variety of things. Now, I understand that you was recording all over the country, though, for it, man. I mean, being out of New York with it, was the vibes different in Phoenix? Was it different in Cali? Yeah, 100%. You know, it's different from recording home. I've been doing that my whole life. Okay. So, to, you know, kind of step out of my comfort zone and do different things. Yeah, man, it was dope. Coming out of New York with it, though, Nick. I mean, what is that hip hop scene like up there for you? Growing up, listening to the music, and see, you done been down with it for a good little mm -hmm. minute too, as well. Yeah. So, I mean, you deeply embedded in that scene too. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, break down that whole New York hip hop scene right now. Yeah, I mean, right now the New York hip hop scene is kind of on the drill wave. Yeah, you know, the youngins is coming up doing the drill thing, but um, I kind of like draw the fine line between drill music and still being able to really rap and make songs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that old. You know what yeah. I mean? I still, I'm still in a mix and in a loop of everything, but I just do things my way, so. Exactly. You know? Coming out of Harlem with it, though, man. I mean, break down that Harlem to me, because, I mean, I've heard so much about Harlem yeah. and how, you know, nostalgic it could be at the same time. Yeah. What was it like for you growing up in there? I mean, Harlem is, um. so when people think of Harlem, they think it's like one thing. It's, it's split between the east side and the west side. Okay. Um. All of the, all of the like, famous rappers that made it out, mm -hmm. of, out of Harlem was, like, from the west side of Harlem. Okay. I'm from the east side of Harlem, you uh. know what I'm saying? So... It's something new. It's, it's like, you know, finally we here. You know okay. what I mean? Black Rob. Yeah. G Dep. Yeah. They from the east side of Harlem okay. as well. Yeah. Okay. But see, you still linked up with that boy Jim Jones at yeah, the same yeah. time. And I sure. mean, talk about that connection. Yeah, you know, um, me and Capo met through a, 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 a mutual street friend. Yeah. You know, I was on the east side doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? And the, the mutual east side, the mutual friend that we have, you know, they, they did their thing on the east side as well. Okay. So, you know, they brought me to Jim and, you know, we met. Jim just showed me it was bigger than my block. So, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, ever, I'm forever, you know, grateful for him. Exactly. I yeah. mean, speaking of the block, I mean, you go by the neighborhood hove in this yeah. thing, though, sure. too, as well. What sure. was it that made you go ahead and pick up that moniker right I now? Mean, I mean, I was a phase. You know, I'm like kind of on a new wave now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The neighborhood whole thing was like a phase for me. Okay. I feel like when I was recording a project, I was just like inspired by Hove. Mm -hmm. His come up, you know, how he did it, yeah. how it was hard for him to get a deal, how long it took, the patience, the yeah. everything. And I was kind of on that wave, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I named it my project, Neighborhood Hove, and I went for that, went by that name as well. But that was a phase, and, you know, okay. I'm kind of on the next phase of my What's life. What's the next phase on, though, Nee? The next phase is me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just like, you know, like, I don't want to be named after no one. I don't yeah. want that. You know what I mean? I want to create my own legacy. So the next step in my life is just elevating me and being the best person I could be. Damn right. You know what I'm saying? Growing up in Harlem, man, at what point was it that that music bug hit you and you realized that, hey, man, I got to get in this thing and jam? Yeah, so I had the best of both worlds. I'm a mom only child. You know, okay. when I was at my mom's house, it was only me and her. Yeah. And on the weekends, when I went to my dad's side, that's when my brothers and my cousins and everything was there. So, 
there's where the music first started. The smack DVDs, the underground rap, the mixtapes, all yeah, that. Yeah. It started there. And then, you know, I, I, I caught, what caught my ear was G-Unit. So mm. 50 definitely inspired me to to rap. You know exactly. what I mean? Take it serious. I mean, being in the game, I mean, you done work with a lot of artists. Uh, Benny the Butcher and mm. Raekwon. You see sure. what I'm saying right there? Some heavy lyricists as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, what was it like getting tangled up with them guys and getting busy? Um, Benny, my guy, man. Yeah. Benny, Benny, Benny. Um, actually, when we when we first met, he told me he knew who I was before I knew who he was. So well, it was always a mutual respect. He exactly. took me on tour with him. Mm. We did 22 cities, and I got a chance to see, you know, um, how much real rap still exists and how many people are still a fan of it. Come on now. Yeah, man. What was going through your mind when you realized that real rap was still happening out here in I'm these like, streets? Yeah, man. It, it just, it just I, I feel like with, with, with Griselda music, Benny yeah. and them, with their music do everything for the same thing it do for me for plenty of other street artists. Like, it's still hope mm -hmm. and, and it's real rap shit. But me, I don't, I don't, I'm not stuck to one thing. I'm just not a real rap artist. Yeah. I could do multiple things. Yeah. But people that's just in that lane, you know, they give them that hope to Facts. be able to. Yeah. Now, I was uh, <clears throat> scrolling through your Instagram and I seen you in there with Benny and J. Cole. Yeah, yeah. What um, the hell's going on with that? So when we was on tour, um, when we was on tour, we was in Detroit. Okay. Um, Cole had a show in Detroit, and you know we stopped by the show to kick it with him, and yeah. just being around a brother like that is just you know very inspiring. Mm -hmm. So he, it, that it wasn't no music there, but it was just a conversation that okay. you know that this sign for me. You exactly. Know what I mean? Yeah, and sometimes that's bigger than just You're damn right. The song. That's why I was about yeah. to ask you, what artists have you been able to pick brain throughout your time in the game that's really gave you some helpful uh, information, man? Um, every member of the Diplomats. Okay. Um, Twist Khalifa, um, yeah. J. Cole, Benny, um, 50. I, I've, I actually had a chance to talk to 50. It was brief, but, you know, when he talk, you listen. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so many people I can't even name. I met CeeLo Green. I had a chance to yeah, talk to him. Exactly. Yeah, so, you know, so many people. That CeeLo Green with that sunlight, though, man. I mean, yeah. break that banger down to me. And when you get the soul man, the soul machine himself in the yeah. mix, that's yeah. crazy as hell, nigga. Yeah, man, that song started as an idea. I, want, I wanted to know who I I was thinking, like, who should I put on this song? Because yeah. when I recorded the song, I recorded it as if I was at the Grammys. Mm. Or if I was on Jimmy Kimmel, or if I was just doing this live in front of a, 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 a more wider audience. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, who can I get to nail this hook? Yeah. And first I thought Anthony Hamilton, mm. and then I thought about CeeLo. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, nah, CeeLo. Yeah, no disrespect to Ant. Like, you know, both still, of them boys is hard. Sure, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But okay, so during your journey in this music, though, man, what has been your favorite time so far, Nick, where you just said, you know what, I'm a rapper now, I'm having the time of my life in this thing? I mean, I don't think I got a chance to sit down and enjoy it. I think this uh, project was the most fun I had. Okay. Just going from city to city and just, you know, finally putting out a project that, you know, the world going here you know what I'm saying everything I've been doing up to this point has been alone and independent so yeah. my music went as long as I I was able to take it but yeah. now you know I got a good team a good situation and you know we moving I'm here on your platform I've it's never up. been here so Appreciate you coming that's through. major you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah. and yeah now this is the most excitement I had in a while Working with Hitmaker, mm -hmm. man, I mean, stepping the game up with him, mm -hmm. what was it like collabing with him throughout that whole project and traveling the world at the same damn time? Yeah, I mean, Hit is a hit, he, he's a, a hard worker. Yeah. You know, you got to match his energy. Yeah. So, you know, that just motivates you to just, you know, be on your A game because you don't want to get left behind. Exactly. Everybody else around, you know, they'll get the results, but if you don't, you'll see why, you know? Come on now. For sure. Wiz Khalifa, shot caller, man. Yeah. I mean, y'all remix that little Troy this thing. Yeah, man. Break that banger down yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of them ones, man. I, that shit got that good energy, that yeah, good yeah. feel to it. I don't got too many of them joints, so, you know, mm. I got I finally got one of them feel good, you know, bop in the club, and I got Wiz, you know, yeah. on it to come kill it with me. So, you know, it's a vibe, man. I can't wait for the people to hear it. Maneuvering in this <laughs> industry, though, Neek, because you don't work with pretty much every damn body. I mm. mean, what was it like when you met a lot of these artists that you had been watching from afar and then getting a chance to jam and vibe with them? Um, it's different, you know. When I thought when I when I used to watch these guys on TV, I would react different. But now that I'm in it, I kind of look at everybody as competition. You know, mm. you can't be too friendly. You yeah. know what I mean? That that's only gonna take you so far. But you know, I respect what people do, and I want them to respect what I do. So exactly. you know, it's a it's a certain kind of seriousness we 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 approaching. You know, we approaching this game with. I feel that yeah. now. In this day and time, right now, Nick, we got a situation to where it's dangerous out here for artists 100%. and hip hop. 
How do you feel about it? You know, a lot of folks say that it's one of the most dangerous professions in the world to mm -hmm. be an artist. Uh, with you traveling, doing shows all over the place and mm -hmm. experiencing all of these different areas, have you found it to be as dangerous as folks said it is? Or how do you feel about what's going on out here right now? I mean, <clears throat> it's dangerous everywhere. You know, um, this been going on. This ain't nothing new. Yeah. Um, one thing I always think Jim for was teaching me how to move. Mm. Me being with him, you know, like he always taught me safety, safety first. And yeah. I always applied that. You know what I mean? Now that I'm out on my own, yeah. that's, if I don't remember nothing from him, I remember safety and how to move. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Trusting your instinct. You know, like when you when you on the road and you, you got other people with you, you got other 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 kids, parents with you. You got Come fathers, on. you got mothers with you. So yeah. you just gotta think for everybody. So I, I kinda move like that. Try yeah. not to put us in a bad situation. Do you feel any <coughs> pressure having to be on ten all the time? Like what the hell's going on right now? Nah, I do. I can't I, I don't wanna sit here and lie and mm -hmm. be like, nah. Cause I think when people say that, that's a that's a lie. Yeah. Nobody wanna look over their shoulder. You exactly. know what I'm saying? And um yeah, I mean I do. I do sometimes I do feel the pressure of like, you know, just being on point all the time. You know, yeah. I, 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 I say in one of my songs, like, I wonder how I feel to live peaceful. Mm. Like, when you doing this, you yeah. never really live peaceful because you're yeah. always, like, you know, watching, watching out for the for, for the negativity. Speaking of the <coughs> peace, I mean, I read where you got grazed in the head as a mm. youngster, man. Yeah, I, I got mean, hit in the head, actually, shit. not grazed, yeah. When you got hit in the head, how mm. did that impact you? And, I mean, what would you, do you have any PTSD from that? I mean, nah, not really. I was a kid. Yeah, I was kind of young, so I ain't really get that experience. Like, 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 like. I, for example, if that would have, God forbid, if that would have happened now, yeah, I would have probably took it a, a, a different kind of way. Mm. I'd have probably took it a little more serious. Yeah. But when I was a kid, I didn't take it that serious. It was kind of like I'm young. I'm. Yeah. I don't got no kid. I'm free. I got hit. I survived. Yeah. Uh, it was one of those. But you know, looking back at it, I'm blessed, man. I'm yeah, blessed. Exactly. 100. I'm Shoot. blessed. And you know, I don't. I don't wish that situation on no one because everybody don't make it out. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What advice do you got for the next artist that's trying to come out of New York with it? And then also <clears> break <throat> that down to me, just coming out of Harlem. Did you have any pushback or resistance coming out of Harlem making your music? Nah, I feel like my neighborhood always supported me. Yeah. I mean, where I'm from always supported me. You know, um, I just feel like, you know, I gotta, I, I had to go harder. I was always one of them kind of artists that seemed established. Yeah. So, you know, everybody who was already on and, and, and doing their thing, they never felt like they had to reach and pull me because mm -hmm. I always looked like I had it going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but they always supported me. I always got the love mm -hmm. and, and support. You know what I'm saying? And to answer your question about advice to any artists coming out of New York, I would say just be yourself, man. Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing wrong with being yourself, you know, because... It's going, it's going to show. If you're not yourself, it's going to show. Somebody going to expose you. Exactly. Yeah. Top five out of New York, man. Who are your top five that come out of NY? Uh, 50 Cent. Uh-huh. Jada Kiss. Mm-hmm. Um, the Notorious B.I.G. He's ahead of my time. He was way before me, but yeah. the when I look, the cadence is everything. I like to describe it because people think I'm being politically correct. Yeah. So what I said, um, 50 Cent, Jada Kiss. Big. Big. Uh. Jay-Z. And my fifth would be, this This is a toss-up because there's so many people. Uh-huh. Who would be my fifth? <laughs> Damn, that five. Because I five, know who's supposed five. to be your fifth one. I got to say DMX. Oh, damn. I know, I know who you're going to say. Who was I going to say? I, I know, but get no. it. I already knew you, <laughs> I knew you was going to say it. No, no, was, but then it. when you hit me with X, though, that kind of messed me up, too, because yeah. X was a badass man, too. Yeah, 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 nah, for sure. Everybody say the same thing about Nas yeah. when, when I name the file, but um, the reason why I don't, I, I don't say Nas mm. is because... I feel like his his high, his highest points of his career, I was kind of young. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And... 50 was out, oh, like yeah. in the 2003, 2004, two, yeah. and it was like 50, 50, 50. Yeah. Now, Big, he kind of got pushed in everybody's brain, cause yeah. he, you know what I mean? Because he, he he transitioned. Exactly. Um, Kiss, Kiss still do it to this day. He kind of more with us, with the youth. He, you see him pop exactly. out, you can touch him. You could, he just rose hell at versus. You know what I'm saying? And then and then the dog, the energy and yeah. everything, that, that, that just mentality and shit. Exactly. So th all those override, and I'm not taking nothing from Nas. Nas is of course who he's he is. Goat. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
What do you want to bring to this game? When folks do their top fives and they got to put neat bucks in this thing, what do you want them to say about you in this thing? That he raw, man. You know, yeah. he raw, he authentic, he versatile. You know what I'm saying? He um. He he give us his feelings. He let us know how he feel. He not he not he's human. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what I want to bring to the game. That to show people, yo, you human. We human. I go through what you go through. You know what I'm saying? When you put it like that, as far as the music, man. I mean, what are some of the bars that you hitting folks with? That's coming straight from the heart in this thing. Man? I be missing the days when a nigga was regular, wasn't getting no paper. I'm posted on 20th. I was with Vaughn the regular, and Chico ain't here. But sometimes I think about, you know, if he was here, what he would have been. Shit Come like on. that. You know what Come I'm saying? On. Like, just, just saying regular, you know. I'm with you, real yeah, life shit. Hell yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, when you think about those days to now, man, how you feeling now being able to have them bucks, Neek? Mm -hmm. Coming back from a time when you didn't have no damn bucks. Man, you got to grind like you ain't got <laughs> none of that, man. We ain't even watching no money. Yeah. We ain't even worried about that. We still in full, hungry, ground mode. We ain't make no money. I ain't, I ain't yeah. you know what I mean? It ain't there yet. I'm with you. I'm ain't with you. Yet. That little, that little, that ain't no real money. <laughs> Nah, oh, it ain't man. bad that you need yeah. at all. So, I mean, what's your number then? What is the number that you want to see that'll make Neek Bucks say, okay, I'm here now? Man, there's no limit. You can't put a limit. Okay. I can't put a limit on, on, on how far I want to go and can't go. Exactly. If I if I, if I if I give you a limit right now, right, I could be mm -hmm. destined for more, but I'm stopping myself right there. Exactly. You got to watch what you put Talking in the universe. Talking about you want a million when you're supposed to be getting a billion, a billion. in this You got to watch what you put in the universe, You ain't man. never you lied. You ain't sure. never lied. Fly away with Lil TJ, man. How yeah. did that banker come about? That's my guy. You know, New yeah. York City, man, for sure. We okay. did that. I went out in L.A. to check him, and we got that done. Exactly. Mm -hmm. When he got hit, what went through your mind when you saw that, man? Man, I was so sad for him because, you know, I talked to him. Uh, like you know what I mean I talked to him on a, on a real personal level we yeah. spoke and I told him about safety and things like that you know things be out of your control but you know I'm happy he's here exactly. and I prayed for him you know what I'm saying I reached out as much as I could and you know yeah then also with hip hop just staying on the legal side of things so you already got to deal with you know the beefs and just Sometimes the haters and the animosity out here in these streets. But then also, down here in the South, we're dealing with a lot of Ricos left and right, man. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts about that, just dealing with the police or the hip-hop police or whoever the hell might be watching you? I was just having this conversation in the car, and it's like, y'all getting them Ricos. You know, we've been getting those for a long time. They come snatch our artists for the last five years. Yeah. If you think about it, you know, we, they started with Bobby and the Bobby. GS9. Yeah. And then uh. you see the Casanovas and you see, so we have been kind of getting them Ricos. And then there's things y'all don't even know about that for people that's not rappers, the shit yeah. that's going on in the streets. So it's like, I'm familiar with that already. And yeah. I feel like Atlanta, you know, y'all culture is getting the taste of, you know, yeah. how, that, how real that shit is. Cause we, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it a stack. We watch from New York, we'll watch that shit, like everything going on out here. Yeah. The murders, the everything, and we be like, Damn, that could have been up here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, we finally, y'all seeing how real that shit is, like what we I been got, going through and shit. Exactly. Man. But is it like maneuvering through New York and stuff like that during those times? And Because I know y'all got some heavy laws you can't even carry up there. I yeah, now nah, you can, but you just got to be smart, man. You got to be smart and be safe. You know, um, you just got to have the right people around you. You know what I'm saying? And um, get security. Yeah. Security, man, ain't nothing wrong with having security, man. Exactly. Them days of running around like you 50, 60 people and all that, them shits, them days is over with. Oh, my God, man, because, I mean, everybody want to run around with the entourage, yeah. and then the entourage mess up everything for everybody. Nigga Thank run God. On you. All kind of stuff. <laughs> run on you. That man got a kid. He man, see, that's the whole part, too. Now, you ain't going to be in my entourage running around with me, and then you going to take off with yeah. stuff get real. I don't, even, I don't even listen to niggas when they say, yo, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that when it go down. I got to see it. Until I see you in action, I don't be, <laughs> you just a nigga talking right Exactly. Now. Yeah, man. I, Thank God, Benny the Butcher and Raekwon, man. man. I mean, those two guys right there, when you had that verse with Benny and then you said, let me send this thing to Raekwon, mm -hmm. I mean, what was that? What was that whole mixture? Man, Raekwon, my favorite Wu-Tang member. Yeah. You know, no gimmicks, raw, yeah. authentic. If you, look at, if you look at Chef's whole career, it was never no gimmicks with him, nothing. Nigga, I was on Camberton Road down here in the A at the gas station and yeah. Raekwon pulled up on my ass. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute, now I'm yeah. over here in the hood kicking shit yeah. and here comes Raekwon out yeah. of no goddamn well. That's my favorite Wu member, man. <laughs> That's my favorite Wu member. So yeah, yeah. I, I thought about I thought about Ray. Um, when I was on tour, I actually he actually got me some tickets to come check them out. The Wu yeah. Tang show him and Ghost. 
And I'm like, yo, man, I need that. I need that energy on my project. Everything energy, bro. Yeah. Everything I got on this project is the energy that I want. Come on now. Mm -hmm. When you think about OGs like Ray, Wiz, uh, Jim, and them, who done gave you the best game to live by out here? Jim, man, how yeah. to move. Uh, That's important. You know, I'm, a, I'm I got I got a daughter. I got a four year old kid. So come on now. how I move is is most important than everything. You got to protect the bag. Yeah. Anything anybody else tell me or anything I apply to my life. It won't happen if I don't know how to move. Facts. No? How do you juggle family and this career at the same time, though, too, man? Man, you know, it's hard to be, it's hard to do both, to be the best father in the world and to be the best rapper in the world. But, you yeah. know, I try to make my daughter a part as much as I can. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So now, moving forward, what other projects do we need to be looking out for in this thing, Nick? Man, after this, after we drop this project, man, I'm, I'm just getting back in the lab. I'm gearing back up. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'm on a whole new wave. Like I told you, I'm trying to, you know, elevate myself to a whole nother level. So I've been just learning more about myself. Exactly. You know, studying and doing things differently to elevate my craft and shit and we going for the we going for everything what the hell you learned about yourself in this thing Nick? man <laughs> you know you know recording this project i ain't get a chance to sit back and learn anything about myself but now that it's done these yeah. last couple you know weeks or so uh -huh. that it's done i've been kind of learning more about myself mm -hmm. you know how to how to um be a better person you know what i'm saying be be more you know kind to of people and Shit like that, you know, so giving, you, giving out what you want to receive. So you was basically pushing and shoving and giving folks hell before you really. Man, not really, <laughs> not really. I'm just, I'm just standoffish. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I really don't. I'm really, I really, I'm really like careless. Yeah. I don't really got no feelings. Like, I you feel know what you. I'm saying? So I got, I got to like you know soften up a little bit. Answer me this though, man. I mean, is it the life that gets you to that point to where you like, hey man, all these feelings is gonna get you knocked off around here trying to care about everything? Or yeah. what was it that caused you to say, you know what, I gotta. For yeah. the ice box where my heart used to be. Yeah, nah, for real. It's the letdown. Yeah. You know, people will let you down. I don't like getting let down. I don't like don't the way that shit me. make me feel, man. <laughs> so I be trying to just protect that shit. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay, so now with that being said, man, I'm about to wrap this thing up. Neek, how can these folks contact you? And is there anything yeah, you want man. your fans to know? Hell yeah, blessed to the max. Dropping February 17th, Neek Bucks everywhere. You know, we bringing a whole new energy to this game. I'm from the east side of Harlem. Bless to the max, bless to the max. That's the title. The, the title was self-explanatory. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We all blessed. We here. We above. We we living. Come we, on. We able to drink, eat. You know what I'm saying? Max. February 17th, we dropping. My, my first official John. Yeah. Already. Well, I'm here for Hell it, yeah, bro. Appreciate you coming through this thing, Love, boss. Wish you nothing but the best and much me, success. Man. Be high ready, yo. Shout it, Neek Bucks. Holla at y'all in a minute, man. We go.